Transition Homes Community Land Trust was conceived in 2009 by the Buildings and Housing Group of Transition Town Totnes. Its remit was to examine how a holistic approach to affordable low carbon housing could meet the serious challenges of rising energy and housing prices, biodiversity loss and climate change. In 2015, its first project at Clay Park in Dartington received planning permission for 31 highly energy efficient eco homes complete with 180 kilowatts of roof mounted solar PV and a microgrid. A microgrid makes it possible for low carbon green electricity to be sold directly to the community where it's generated, reducing reliance on fossil fuels. They work by sending power to wherever it is needed on the microgrid, rather than feeding it back to the national grid, as is customary. Balancing local supply with demand in this way helps the national grid reduce the need for expensive network upgrades and is much more efficient to use electricity close to where it's generated as less is wasted through transmission losses. The benefit for local residents is reduced cost because microgrids allow local renewable energy generators more control over pricing. They can get a better rate. And because there is no one in the middle making a profit, they can do it without charging the customer market prices, making electricity cheaper as well as greener and protecting customers from fluctuating prices. All of this helps keep the economic benefits of renewable energy in the local economy and boosts local resilience. In 2018, Transition Homes approached Totnes Renewable Energy Society, or TRESOC, to become the energy supply company for the site and to design, own and operate the microgrid. TRESOC was the obvious choice, as our remit is to develop renewable energy for the benefit of the community, raising capital to build the projects through community share offers. For Tresoc, the Clay Park project was an opportunity to showcase a new business model whereby a community energy company working with a local housing developer could generate low-cost green electricity for affordable housing. Our aim was to demonstrate how renewable energy technologies can work for everyone, not just those who can afford to install them. The Rural Community Energy Fund recognised the innovative nature of the project and awarded Tresog a grant to investigate the economic and technical viability of the scheme. Happy with Tresog's findings, in 2021 they awarded Tresog a second grant to develop the project to the build stage. At the same time, Transition Homes realised the increased cost of materials after the pandemic meant their financial model was not going to work and that they needed to build more market houses to subsidise the affordable housing. Additional planning permission was required and took another 18 months. But in the summer 2022, the Clay Park project was breaking ground and Tresoc were working hard to ensure the development work was completed before the build. As the summer went on, the energy crisis created by the war in Ukraine sent interest rates rocketing. The September mini budget pushed forecast interest rates up and again, Transition Homes found that its financial model didn't work. After exploring several options, they decided to partner with Housing Association, Asta Housing Group, leasing them the Clay Park development. Asta is implementing the existing plan and consent and have agreed to build the houses to the highly efficient build specifications. The silver lining for Totnes is that the development will now be 100% affordable housing for local housing need. However, Asta intends to install heat pumps and individual PV to each home, which means that there will be no microgrid or business case for Tresoc to continue with the project. Tresoc are extremely grateful to the Rural Community Energy Fund for its support of the project so far. Our research has convinced us that microgrids are fundamental in the transition to an equitable, low carbon future and we hope our work will inspire other community energy groups to plan their own microgrids. We have produced a range of documents, including legal templates that we can share at no cost. We are continuing to develop the microgrid model for our Energy Local Totnes project. Please contact us to find out more.